Today I would like to talk about the WS2812B LED strip and how we can be able to control it using the Arduino. And this is one of the common LED strips and its connection is rather simple as I'm going to be showing you here. And before we talk about the connections that we know, let me show you a bit how this strip looks like. So this is our strip. As you can see, actually what is inside here, each of these strips has a number of RGB LEDs. These type of LEDs are called 5050 RGB LEDs. And each of these LED LEDs is interpreted with what the WS2812B LED driver circuit. So, as you can see here, actually it is simply a connection of a number of LEDs. For example, right here I have 30 LEDs, but it comes like a full package with very many LEDs. So you just cut the number that you want to use. So as you can see here, there is a marking here, there is a label. This label here shows you where you can be able to cut this strip so that you can get the number of LEDs that you want to put. And as you can see, the strip has the white wire, is the ground, the red one is the VCC, and then the green one is the data line. But of course there are some extra ground and, wire and VCC wires because if you are using a very long strip, in other words there are very many LEDs, it means you have to supply this strip from an external power source and the reason is because the Arduino has a limited current supply so for example the Arduino if you are going to be using the USB supply to use an, a maximum of around 100 milliamps and if you are going to use this other barrel supply down here you are going to be using a maximum of around 900 amps and one thing you have to realize that each of these RGBs, this is from around 20 milliamps to 60 milliamps. So if you are going to use very many of these LEDs, it means that you are going to exceed the current limit of the Arduino board. So that's why, that's why sometimes you may need to use an external power source. And then another thing you are going to observe that when you are going to connect, we can usually put an extra resistor to the data line to reduce noise and then you can also put a capacitor on the external VCC and ground so that we can smooth that power supply but uh, that may not be very necessary if you are not going to be using a very long strip so without wasting too much time, let me show you how this strip is connected to Arduino so I've now finished connecting the strip on my Arduino and it's very simple. So you just connect the VCC line to the 5 volts of the Arduino and the ground line to the ground and data line. In this case, I'm going to connect my data line to pin 6. And actually, I've placed some um, 330 ohm resistor here to reduce noise on that line. And I'm even going to be having an external, an extra external power supply because I'm going to be using 30 LEDs. But the 30 LEDs are not very many. You can even drive them using the Arduino without an external power supply. But for best practice, it's always good you go with an external power supply. So from here, you can be able to run this LED strip. So the first library we are going to use is the Adafruit NeoPixel.h. Uh, this is a, a simple library to use. Actually, here what you do, you only have to specify the pin where the data input for the LED strip is for example mine is pin 6 and maybe the other thing you can talk about is the here the number of LEDs in the strip that you're using for example I'm using 30 so you have to specify here the rest of the program is simple you can use it just for practice you change some parameters where you want and there is even some you can go here on file and examples I look for other fruit in your pixel so you can test all the various examples here so that you can see how this library works with the kind of strip that you have so let me upload this one and then i see how 
is going to be working so as you see it's being uploaded and that's the result that we get the second example we are going to use the first lid.h is a rather common library and also here the major thing here you do is just put the pin where the data line is for the strip in this case it's six then specify the number of leds in the strip that you're going to be using for example i'm using 30 and then here you specify the kind of led strip that you're using i'm using the ws2812 yeah then the rest of the code you can go through some of the examples from this library so that you can be able to learn for example here the first example i'm having i'm going to be having the LED is light one by one the first LED uh, the second one the fifth one like that then I'll be having the LEDs display in some kind of pattern moving forward and then move backwards so let me upload this one and then we see what I'm talking about so as you can see so the LEDs will begin flashing one at a time at a specified number of leds that are being specified in the program then after that we are going to have all the leds display first in a clockwise direction then in the anti-clockwise direction yeah so you can play around the program and change the different maybe number of leds and the colors that you want so that you can learn how this library works Okay, that's it for today. Hope you have enjoyed watching the tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and like my videos. And also to watch many more of my other content. Thanks for watching.